stop following movie buffs and film connoisseurs, it is your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here. And after what seemed like an eternity of waiting, we finally got the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer yesterday. And just like all of you, I watched it like a hundred times, but I still couldn't help but feel like there's some things in the trailer that I was missing. So I had to slow it down, and I noticed some things in this trailer that I want to touch on real quick in this video. A few things, and I know I noticed that a lot of the people in the Spider-Man community and the pop culture community have started noticing these things too. Now first, when I first reacted to the trailer, I said in my trailer reaction, which you can watch now up on, that's up on the channel, I said that we only got indication of two villains in the trailer, which I was totally wrong. The trailer was fast-paced, but we do get indication of more villains in the trailer. But I did not see this one little moment and it's making the rounds on the internet right now and on social media and I want you to look at this. Does this look like the lizard to you? Now I've seen some people saying that this looks like maybe it's Venom but I haven't heard any indication that Venom is in this movie but I have heard from certain sources that the lizard is going to make an appearance in this movie and that we're going to get all the Sinister Six in this movie basically and I believe this is the lizard. And it almost looks like he's coming through a portal. At least that's what I thought at first. But when I slow it down, and I slow it down even more, and then I slow it down even more and more, it kind of looks like maybe he's in like a cell. Maybe Doctor Strange has him trapped with some sort of magic, because it looks like Peter is standing right here, and then you get someone behind him coming slashed at what looks like maybe some type of magical barricade or something like that. Maybe I'm reading too far into it, but that's kind of what this looks like here. And I want to look... I want to know what you think, because I'm, I don't know, I have mixed feelings here. Do you think this is Venom? Do you think this is the Lizard? Do you think the Lizard is, is in some sort of trap, in some sort of jail cell? You know, some sort of prison that Doctor Strange has created with his magic? Or maybe he's just coming through the portal of the multiverse, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that down below. But another, another indication of another villain in this trailer is all these electric, all these electric bolts everywhere. And the number one thing that I noticed here is it's like yellow electricity. So we know that Jamie Foxx is going to be in this movie. We know he's going to reprise his role of Electro, but he's not supposed to be the same Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man. He's supposed to be a different multiverse Electro. And if this is any, any indication of that, like it looks like we're going to get the, the yellow Electro. Like I'm not sure if he's going to be full costume or anything like that. I doubt they'll go that route. But it's going to be like more of yellow electricity. Like, and that's when, when I think of electro, I think of more of like yellow electricity. And I know that's weird. It's kind of like a Pikachu type thing. But then we have the new updated forms of electro, and he's like all blue, and he's got the blue electricity. It's cool. And yeah, you could put any form of electricity you want. But when you really think of classic old school electro, you think of kind of like yellow lightning bolts, yellow electric bolts. And throughout this trailer, we see a couple scenes with these yellow electric bolts. Now, right here in this picture, a lot of people are maybe reaching. They think that all this sand right here is possibly Sandman. Now, of course, it could be. This could be Electro and Sandman facing off against Spider-Man right here. Or it could just be one of these electric bolts hitting the ground and causing an explosion that causes all this sand to go everywhere. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I think it's maybe a little bit of a reach to assume that any little bit of sand that you see in this trailer is Sandman, although it could be. That's how crazy this is. It could be. You know, it could be, but I'm just not going to go so far as to say that this explosion right here and you see all this dust and dirt kicked up that this is Sandman, but it could be. Some people even think that this is Sandman trying to protect Spider-Man in this trailer um, right here in this instance. I'm not buying that too much. Now, another thing that I wanted to touch on is we know that there's going to be like some legal battles going on in this Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Everyone, you know, Peter Parker is public enemy number one right now. Everyone hates him. They think they've, that he's killed people. They think that he had this city full of killer drones. Like, there's a lot going on, and he's going to need someone to defend him. Now, I've heard from sources for months now that the person that's coming in to defend Peter Parker as Spider-Man is no other than Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox from the Daredevil show. And if you look really closely in these pictures right here, I slowed down the trailer, and it looks like this might be him. I mean, 
I could say he's wearing the same outfit, but I mean, don't a lot of lawyers wear a white shirt with a tie, you know, khaki pants? So it could be anyone. It could be anybody, you know? But I believe that this is Charlie Cox Daredevil right here. Now, I don't know if we're going to have Daredevil suit up or anything like that. I don't want to go to that extreme, but I believe that this is Matt Murdock right here in these photos, and that is just mind-boggling to me how much they are going to put into this one movie like this is going to be huh, if if it wasn't for everything going on in the world right now this would probably be one of the highest grossing movies of all time so i don't man <laughs> there's so much to impact and i'm just i'm just scratching the surface here y'all i am literally just scratching the surface of the different things that are in this trailer and that are going to be in this movie just in general. But if I've missed anything, if you've seen anything interesting in this trailer that you want to point out, let me know down in the comments below because I am looking forward to all the little Easter eggs that all of you have found. So let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.